Have you been diagnosed with depression and struggle with sadness? Maybe you're scared of being criticized. Loss of interest, aches and pain. I'm always thinking something terrible. Ask your gonna... doctor about effects or exile. Ask your doctor about Symbolta. Talk to your doctor about Zoloft. So talk to your healthcare Get professional. To your doctor talk today. To your doctor. Tell your doctor. Contact your doctor immediately. Doctor. Talk with your doctor. <laughs> Over 40 years ago, leading psychiatrists met in Puerto Rico to map out their vision of the future. We see a developing potential for nearly a total control of human emotional status, mental functioning, and will to act. Their plan? To create by the year 2000 a range of psychiatric drugs regulating every aspect of human behavior. Uh, diagnosed with uh, depression and put on Paxil. ADD and I was prescribed Ritalin. Bipolar disorder and I take lithium. Um, depression, effects or Lexapro. PTSD, Zoloft. I was on Paxil. And they placed me on Zoloft. They gave me Adderall. I was prescribed Cyptamu. Tegretol. Lexapro. Respiradol. Stelazine. Adderall. Concerta. Thorazine. Vyvanse. Lorazepam. Epixol. Clonazepam. The Ritalin. Dexafetamine. Paxil. Silert. Prozac. The Adderall. Elevil. Depakol, Wilbutrin, Seroquel, etc., etc. 100 million people worldwide are on psychiatric drugs. How did this happen? Psychiatrists convinced them they were sick. They want you to think you're diseased from birth and that all those experiences of life, childhood and adolescence and teenage years and adulthood and being a senior citizen, that these are all various stages of disease. Because let's face it, we've all been depressed at one time. We've all been anxious at one time. These are normal emotions that we feel. Every emotional and spiritual problem is reduced to a label. And of course all of those diseases require pharmaceutical treatments. This is big, big business. While generating a healthy income, claiming to be medical professionals, psychiatrists will freely confess that their profession is devoid of science. We don't really have any specific blood tests or other tests that are definitive for any mental illness whatsoever. It would be neat if it would become much more scientific. Well, if you go to my office and you tell me that you're depressed, there's nothing and no blood sample or whatever, no tests. There are not uh, current available tests uh, to verify your diagnosis. I don't use any tests. You do not have a test to say, well, this is this disorder and this is the best medication for this disorder. For many years we thought we had the tests nailed down, but it turned out that they weren't of any value. If you don't know what's causing the symptoms, then to give somebody something to alleviate the symptoms is close to impossible. By the time a drug's approved and it hits the general population, we don't know even 50% of the side effects that are involved with that drug. And these pills cause heart attacks and liver problems and immune system problems and lots of other medical problems, so you're playing with fire. Every day, Psychotropic drugs cause serious adverse reactions. And while psychiatrists and drug companies fully understand the dangers of the drugs they sell, their unsuspecting customers are left to suffer the consequences. Everything became worse. Every, uh, you know, each, each mood swing was worse. He would have chronic headaches, chronic, you know, nausea, not feeling good. She was very agitated. Um, very, very jumpy. She was having horrible hallucinations. Her personality was um, disintegrating. Once he started on that drug, he just, the cloud just stayed over him and stayed over him and stayed over him. It got darker and darker. He thought there wasn't anything worth living to kill himself. That was not Matthew. That was the drugs. At least I would like to have said, I love you. I didn't get a chance to do that. In addition to crippling scores of people daily, Every month, psychiatric drugs kill an estimated 3,000. But the human devastation would never have gotten this high if psychiatrists hadn't worked hand-in-hand -hand with drug companies to promote their drugs to doctors throughout the world. Today, 70% of all psychiatric drugs are prescribed by general physicians. And how is this accomplished? Marketing. It's about creating a good story that uses science that convinces a physician 
to think about writing a prescription. This is not science. This is incredibly effective marketing. It has nothing to do with science. They use what I call statistical contortionism. Basically just skew the numbers, make everything look fantastic, you hide the bad numbers. They're learning every trick in the book. They're evolving into efficient marketing machines. And it's working. There's definitely an unholy alliance between psychiatry and pharmaceutical sales. That's a marriage made in heaven. They're like conjoined twins. They're joined at the wallet. And with 374 mental disorders filling psychiatry's diagnostic manual and more on the way, business is booming. Pharmaceutical companies have expanded their roster of psychotropic drugs from 44 in 1966 to 174 today. The top five psychotropic drugs combined gross more money than the gross national product of each of over half the countries on earth. Altogether, the psychiatric industry rakes in a third of a trillion dollars a year. How could this have happened? It's a tale of deception that may be difficult to believe, but fatal to ignore.